Eh, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, carnal. Ánimo. All right, man. Why well, I knew you way, not you and you, I knew you why. I knew you way. I don't know how to pronounce his name. No disrespect. It is pound for pound number one in my book. Now, could something happen on Saturday that changed my mind? Yes. I can open my mind. Maybe in my Skip Bayless voice, I'm a prisoner of the moment. But uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop video. You got people saying, well, you know, Fulton wasn't a pound for pound fighter. He should have been. He should have been. Fulton might be the most skilled PBC fighter out of all of them, to be honest. He took chances. He took risks. I mean, I think you got to respect that. You know, in a new way, you just show that he damn near, Fulton is a complete fighter, minus the punching power. A new way can fight on the inside better, and, you know. But, you know, they got, you know, when you, for the most part, most referees not going to let these dudes work on the inside. And the ref didn't really let Fulton work on the inside like he wanted to. And that's credit to New Way for being able to hold on the inside. But nonetheless, I mean, it's hard to put a smaller guy up there for a lot of people because people like the, well, you know, he ain't did this. He, but you, you don't know what the fuck he did because you don't know shit about the lower weight classes. I routinely watch them. You know what I'm saying? I might not be as invested in boxing as I used to. You know, but I, I routinely watch the lower weight classes and at least pay attention to him nowadays. And he can fight. I mean, you know, the best thing, the worst thing that happened for him and the greatest thing, well, the worst thing that could happen for Chocolito and the greatest thing that could happen for his resume was fighting Chocolito. But Chocolito got beat, got knocked out by Stor Rivestein. Beat twice. You know, so you know, for that moment, from that, you know, you know, that would have been another notch under this belt. I mean, can't nobody fade him. I mean, that was a world level, elite level fight. You got to remember, he was undisputed. He moving up to the and the, and the ring belt should have been on the line for that fight, in my opinion. I don't know how y'all feel. The ring belt should have been on the line, especially with Majra and Akadama did, uh losing, uh, you know, losing an upset. The ring belt should have been on the line, but yeah, to me, dude, he looked the part. You know, and um, maybe Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence can one up him on Saturday. But the way I look at that fight, bro, a new way is 30 years old. Fulton is 29 years old. Earl Spence, 32, 33. Terrence Crawford about to be 36 in September. That fight should have happened three, four years ago. You know, that fight should have happened, I say it again, three or four years ago. So it's not a prime fight. And they can say, well, it's happening at the right time. Yeah, it's happening for the right time in y'all pockets. You know, as much as we talk about what Earl Spence do, went through, Terrence Crawford had some wear and tear on his body too. And no matter how clean the lifestyle you live, your body is on this 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 clock. You know, Earl didn't Earl come off a 16 month layoff. And yes, Fulton was coming off a 13 month layoff. Unfortunately for him, I think that played a factor. But you got you got three more you got three more months on the Foltons. I mean, on the Earl Spence's. Or two more. I think it's 15 or 16. You know? You had the undisputed champion moving up, fighting, uh, to me, the lineal champion at 126. And he didn't lose a second of that fight. I don't see Terrence Crawford or Earl Spence. And I could be wrong. You coming close to emulating that. Now, if they sit there and they have a, a epic war like Tommy Hearns and Marvin Hagler did, then, all right, cool. Then we can have that conversation. But then again, it wasn't what that, that new way did. I mean, he didn't want, he didn't dominate, he didn't conquer multiple weight classes. He became undisputed. You know? He didn't become undisputed. That stamped him. Now, he struggled with Donier, but that just lets you know how good Donier was. It'd been interesting to him and Donier could have fought in a prime, but that just lets you know how good and durable Donier Chin was. You know? But, you know, I'm not going to argue, it's my opinion. This was a more prime, a more juicy fight. Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford, that's a well done, that's a well done cooked steak. Might want that shit. Anybody that know about eating steak for real, ain't no real steak eater eating a well done steak. Come on, only time I eat well done steak for real is when I go to IHOP and get the steak tips. Something about them steak tips, that they good, well done, or medium rare, medium, 
medium well. They good regardless, however you want them. I don't know what they do to them, bro. That's the best thing on their menu by far. And people say, are you serious? And then people eat them and be like, damn, you was right. But his speed, his, and people say, oh, you ain't that, but you don't know nothing, you don't know nothing about the guys on his resume. Only thing people put these other guys above them because they familiar with the names. That's it. Just because you got a name, it don't make you better than somebody else. Earl Spence ain't accomplished with the New York accomplished in boxing. That motherfucker barely accomplished with Fulton accomplished. Both Fulton and fought the most undefeated fighters out there, dude. He fought a bunch of them. Earl Spence ain't really never took them type of risks. And people could say, well, it's Crawford ain't never took them type of risks. You know, he went over in enemy territory as the champ. Not to go win the belt as the champ. Now, he had a lot of financial incentive to go over there. But, like I said before, that Spence and Crawford fight, man, that's, that's overcooked. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them sell you a pair of Jordans. You know, 11s that's already been worn and try to sell them to you at a new, a new and, 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 and unsealed price. That's what they doing to you. And if people look at this fight, there's there's a bunch of just little caveats that people can poke holes through. Yeah, it's finally here. Yeah, they starve you out and give you sartine, saltine crackers. That shit gon' that shit gon' taste like a goddamn a Popeye, a homemade Popeye. That shit gon' taste like fried chicken. Cause they starved you out. You drink that water, it's gonna taste like Sprite. <sighs> but the way he dominated that fight, bro, he didn't drop a second of that fight. He didn't drop a, he didn't, he didn't, you know, Foden landed a couple right hands, but he took the play away from him right away. He's special. He's a special fighter. And I said Terrence Crawford is, is special too. You know, if you had to say, well, to you, which who's the more proven commodity? Crawford, but I got a larger body of work on Terrence Crawford. You know? This kid just fought in December, he came back. That's pretty active by today's standard. But pound for pound, how I'm feeling right now, it's him. And he he 30 years old, he close. If he if it's a gap between him and another fighter, he didn't I mean, he's way more special than Canelo. He way more special than, than Beaver. You know? Usyk is, is cool, but I don't rank heavyweights. The three best fighters in the world, in my opinion, no matter how, however you want to rank them, is Inouye, uh, Better BF, and Terrence Crawford. Them are the three best fighters in the world. Three best fighters in the world. And they so happen to be the three best punchers in the world. And I'm not a guy that 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 tends to favor punchers or, you know, or that type of stuff. I like what I like. Those are the three best fighters in the world. Nobody's beating their opponent's ass like them three guys are beating their ass. And only one out of them three who ain't never had a close fight was better be at. And that's because he only got 18, 19 fights. He a victim of politics. You fight long enough, you know, Terrence Crawford stepped up, fought Sean Porter, he had a fight, close fight. But when it came time, he separated himself. Don't, you know, a new way, did he have a close fight with Donair? He separated himself. Then he came back and, and separated himself by Stephen Foley. Better be of his whole career been separating this stuff. You know, Beaver, you know, he right there. He, he right there in that next tier, he right there. You know, Tiafim Lopez, right there with Beaver. He, he right there in that second tier. They right there, got that one more fight, and they get over that hump. You know, but them them guys and Canelo, they differ from Canelo. All them dudes, you know, took some type of risk. All them, you know, and the top three guys got, a, got physical talent that Canelo don't got before we get there. No. You know, they got they, they don't have close fights. They don't. And if the fight is close, they separate it. They rematch, knock the motherfucker out, whatever it may be. You know, Earl Spence right there with Beevil, 
Tiafimo Lopez in that next tier. I mean, like, it's them guys, and then he, like, right there. I mean, it's not too much of a gap there. You know, Earl B. Terrence, and he, he right up there, you know. Um, Usyk, not Usyk, but uh, B will be better B up than he right up there. So, they right, right at that threshold. It's really, it's really like one nice-ass tier, but I just give them, them guys a little bit of separation because physically they, they talented and they different. You know, and Jamil somehow be Canelo, I mean, shit, you know, this is a new you why Crawford Earl Spence debate might be short lived. He, you know, some people might think he would to be up there, but when you talk about physically talented and looking apart, bro, and that's part of it, the eye test is part of the pound for pound list. Them three fighters stand out the most in the pound for pound list. Nobody's doing their opponents like Crawford, better be up in a new you Nobody's beating their opponents like that. There's no, it's not, you can't find another meaner fighter than those three. There's no more mean or fighter in boxing than those three. Maybe Deontay Wilder, you can put him in that category. Maybe you could put Javante Davis in that, that category as, as mean. But there's no it's no more. Nobody doing their opponents like them three. Tank Davis not even in a pound-for-pound pound conversation before y'all come here talking. Yeah, he got the status. You know, he got the, you know, he got the status. That's about it. That's it. Till he start fighting somebody, he can be in that 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 up. He can be he gonna be fast in that top tier, cause he got the he passed the I tell you he got the physical talent, but he ain't beat nobody. But that's all I gotta say, man. And may my opinion may come Saturday, it may change Saturday. I'm always an open minded person, and you know I admit when I'm wrong, and I'm possibly a prisoner at the moment. But in New York right now, it's pound for number one in my opinion. That's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. So thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Uh, financially, want to support the channel? Cash up, dollar sign CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, find me on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, or Cash up, Venmo, PayPal. Peace.